Polypropylene, also known as polypropene, is a versatile form of plastic that has distinct properties and applications compared to polyethylene. While both materials are widely used, polypropylene offers advantages such as moldability, high melting point, and resistance to fatigue. Polypropylene's ability to be molded and returned to a solid state when cooled makes it pliable and suitable for structural and fiber applications. It can even be combined with rubber for enhanced flexibility. Unlike polyethylene, it can withstand repeated motions and function as a hinge without fatigue. Additionally, polypropylene can be combined with other materials, such as rubber, to increase its flexibility. One exciting use of polypropylene is in the production of synthetic paper by adding minerals. This synthetic paper is durable, tear-resistant, and water-resistant, allowing it to be used for various applications like banners, membership cards, maps, signs, and more. Synthetic paper offers the advantages of easy printing, folding, hot stamping, die cutting, sewing, and environmental friendliness. Polypropylene finds extensive use in the automotive and packaging industries. The packaging sector alone accounts for 70% of polypropylene usage, with applications ranging from bottles and food containers to crates and pallets. It is also used in the manufacturing of housewares, appliances, toys, carpets, upholstery, and fibers for textiles. Polyethylene, on the other hand, has its own advantages. It is inert, creating lower static charges compared to polypropylene, making it suitable for housing collectible documents. Being translucent, it allows less light transmission than polypropylene. Polyethylene's lower static charge also attracts less dust and dirt. However, it tends to cost more due to its higher purity. Polyethylene can be produced optically clear, while polypropylene is translucent. High-quality transparent plastic bags made from polyethylene allow users to easily view the contents without compromising their clarity. These bags are commonly used for packaging and storage purposes, providing a clear and visible solution. On the other hand, translucent polypropylene storage containers offer a balance between visibility and privacy. These containers allow users to get a glimpse of the contents inside, making it easier to identify and locate items, while also providing a degree of opacity for a neat and organized appearance. The temperature range for polyethylene varies depending on the specific type of polyethylene and its intended application. However, as a general guideline, polyethylene can typically withstand temperatures ranging from minus 50 degrees Celsius to 80 degrees Celsius minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit to 176 degrees Fahrenheit. It is important to note that the temperature limits may vary for different grades and formulations of polyethylene, so it is always recommended to consult the manufacturer's specifications or technical data sheets for precise temperature ranges applicable to a particular polyethylene product or application. Polypropylene is lighter, has higher resistance to cracking, acids, solvents, and electrolytes, and exhibits higher melting points and better dielectric properties. It has high resistance to a wide range of acids including sulfuric acid, hydrochloric acid, nitric acid, acetic acid, and phosphoric acid. It maintains its structural integrity and chemical stability when exposed to these acidic substances. Polypropylene also demonstrates good resistance to many organic solvents, such as benzene, toluene, xylene, acetone, methanol, ethanol, and mineral spirits. It can withstand prolonged exposure to these solvents without significant degradation or loss of mechanical properties. The melting point of polyethylene typically ranges from around 105 degrees Celsius to 135 degrees Celsius, 221 degrees Fahrenheit to 275 degrees Fahrenheit depending on the specific grade and formulation. On the other hand, polypropylene has a higher melting point, ranging from approximately 130 degrees Celsius to 171 degrees Celsius, 266 degrees Fahrenheit to 340 degrees Fahrenheit. The difference in melting points is significant because it influences the thermal behavior and processing characteristics of these polymers. The lower melting point of polyethylene means that it can be easily melted and molded at lower temperatures compared to polypropylene. This property makes polyethylene more suitable for processes like blow molding, where the plastic is melted and shaped into hollow objects like bottles or containers. The melting point of polypropylene typically ranges from 130 degrees Celsius to 171 degrees Celsius, 266 degrees Fahrenheit to 340 degrees Fahrenheit depending on the grade and specific formulation.
This high melting point allows polypropylene to maintain its structural integrity and dimensional stability under elevated temperatures. Furthermore, polypropylene exhibits better dielectric properties compared to polyethylene. It has low electrical conductivity, making it an excellent electrical insulator. This characteristic is advantageous in applications where electrical insulation and non-conductivity are required. In addition to its chemical resistance, polypropylene is lighter in weight compared to polyethylene, making it an attractive choice for applications where weight reduction is desirable. It also offers higher resistance to cracking, which enhances its durability and longevity in various environments and applications. In polymer chemistry, monomers are the building blocks that join together to form larger chains, known as polymers. In the case of polyethylene, the monomer is ethylene, a simple hydrocarbon molecule consisting of two carbon atoms and four hydrogen atoms, C2H4. Through a process called polymerization, multiple ethylene monomers chemically bond together to create long chains of polyethylene. On the other hand, for polypropylene, the monomer is propylene, another hydrocarbon molecule with three carbon atoms and six hydrogen atoms, C3H6. Through polymerization, propylene monomers link together to form polypropylene chains. Understanding the distinctions between polyethylene and polypropylene helps in selecting the appropriate material for specific applications, considering factors like transparency, temperature resistance, electrical properties, and rigidity. Both polyethylene and polypropylene are recyclable. Polyethylene is commonly identified with the recycling code 2, HDPE, high-density polyethylene, and 4, LDPE, low-density polyethylene. Polypropylene is identified with the recycling code 5, PP, polypropylene. These codes help in sorting and recycling plastics efficiently. In summary, polypropylene and polyethylene are distinct plastics with unique properties and applications. Polypropylene offers advantages such as moldability, high melting point, and resistance to fatigue. Polyethylene, on the other hand, has benefits like lower static charges and superior translucency. Understanding these differences allows for informed decision-making and utilization of their respective strengths in various industries and products. If you have any further questions, please call Global Plastic Sheeting at 866-597-9298. We love talking about everything plastic-related.